Bertha's doing fine. All right, you guys, CB Kendall's family, I have bad news. I have very bad news. So, long story short, um, as you guys know, Sophie and Bertha were pregnant with Juice Puppies. Um, Bertha's doing fine. Uh, Sophie had a miscarriage. Um, like, you know. So, pretty much, you guys, you guys know I do late night cleanings on my dog. So, I came out here about... 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock last night. Clean the dogs, let them out, let them run, play. With fresh water, fresh food. Um, everything is fine. All the females, all the dogs are fine. Can make out here this morning, around six o'clock, seven o'clock. Um, that happened, you know what I'm saying? Puppies on the bed, puppies on the floor. blood everywhere. Um, so of course she had a miscarriage. Um, she did. Um, I didn't take her to the vet to make sure she's fine and she's okay. Um, I personally don't know what happened. Um, you guys know this is similar to what happened to the guy dog I just bred to. You I mean, guys remember I just did a breeding a few like a week ago with a black female um, that was bred with juice. She had a similar thing six months ago. Um, they were about the same age frame. Um, so what happened was that dog two, two and a half weeks early um, had puppies early and they all was the same way they all died um, I mean it's part of the game you know I hate it and I hate it for her mainly because you know I don't like for my dogs to go through anything you know what I'm saying so I hate it mainly for her I'm gonna take her to the vet and make she's okay but she did have five puppies um, I don't know if they all boys I know they all had full tails because I mean you can see the puppies like they all have full tails um, I think they were what maybe two boys and like three girls but they all were full tails but that's not even the case, man. Just the fact of, you know, things happen. You know, I really I hate it. You know, it hurt. You know, not even about the money, you know what I'm saying? Because my female, man, like, I don't like when my dogs and my females go through things like that, you know what I'm saying? Because the stress and shit like that of their body and all that shit, the shit is not good for them. But I'm gonna take them to the vet, see if the vet can tell me what happened, what could have possibly caused this infraction to happen and um i let you guys talk to me when we get to the vet um also you guys have nothing to do with her environment you guys know it's ac in here at all times um this is temperature i can look at my camera from my phone and it tells me the temperature of the inside dog house so i don't do her environment i've had crazy dogs out here all the time like Bertha was out here she's fine hennessy's out her litter she was fine those y'all had pregnant she was fine you know, my fridge is like, oh, long story short, the environment had nothing to do with the infraction. You know what I'm saying? It just, I don't know. I can't put my thing on and say what happened, you guys, but that's what the vet hopefully can tell me what happened. Um, but we'll see when we get there. Um, but I'll catch y'all on the next scene, you guys. So just to show you guys, Sophie, um, about to get ready to take her to the vet. I had to make an appointment. But um, here she go. I got to make sure she's okay because she still could have more pups in there. I'm not really for sure, um, but we're gonna see. I mean, but she seems okay, but again, you know, there could be, you know, other things going on. She could have more pups in there. I don't want anything to be, you know what I'm saying? I just wanna make sure she's comfortable, she's okay. Cause you know, in this situation like this, where people um, actually had the same problem, they lose the mama dog too. And I'm kind of, I'm very glad that didn't happen to where I, lo I lost my mom dog. Because I mean, it could have easily been to the point where I lost the mama dog too. But luckily I didn't lose her. Um, but I let you guys know what the vent sound. Keep you guys in the loophole. Keep you guys informed. Draco, can you please tell up, please? Sophie, come here. Sophie, come here. Come here, Sophie.
All right, you guys, so um, just checking back in with y'all. I don't want the video to be too long. So this is gonna be like a two-part video. Um, so right now, um, I was gonna take her to the vet. I had made an appointment for about six o'clock, seven o'clock, but um, she's still having puppies, which um, when I went out there, she had about five puppies um, and she's still passing puppies. So, so far within the last, I wanna say hour, hour and a half, she done had about three more. So, so no, about two more. So that's seven puppies in total. Um, I think maybe she might have about maybe one or two more in there. But you guys, um, the thing about it is, I called my vet and I talked to my vet. You guys know me and my vet are kind of close. So he was like, I mean, bro, if she's passing naturally, just let her have them. Because they're so small to the point where like they're like this big. They're maybe about this big. Maybe about this big, literally. They're about this big. So they are so small to the point where they're being passed. They're, she's passing perfectly fine with everything. And he said, well, since she's passing fine, just let her go ahead and pass them off and then bring her in like later, later tonight, like two or three in the morning. And I'll just go ahead and x-ray her, make sure everything's good with inside of her, make sure she passed them all how they're supposed to go. And then you're fine. I'll check her and make sure everything's good. And then we'll go from there. Um, but you guys, the thing is, if I do take her to the vet, let's say I do take her, what's going to happen is if they x-ray her, if there's pups in there, they're going to have to cut her open. And why would I cut open my dog when I don't have to, when she's passing the pups naturally. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna let them cut her open when she's passing naturally. I'd rather her just, you know what I'm saying, just sit with her, keep her calm, make sure she's okay, just, you know, comfort her and help her have them naturally. Like, she's having them naturally perfectly fine. So um, I'll stay here, comfort her, make sure she's fine. And, um, you know. Oh, so just let everybody know, cause I know people are gonna ask me, cause they know I co owner Well, how does your killing partner feel about it? So you guys, you know, certain things you just can't handle. You know, certain things you just can't control. So as long as you communicate in a co-owned deal, let's say, just give you guys an example, and let's say you was in a co-owned deal. In that situation, just make sure you communicate with your partner everything, everything that's going on. I communicate with Billy everything, you know what I'm saying? Like how many pups she's had, she's still having them. You know, we decided, me and him, I called my vet, put him on through with my vet. You know, and me and him decided as a team that we were gonna let her pass them naturally because we didn't want her cut open. Um, so that was kind of like a team decision. Um, but uh, I, I'll give you guys the rest of the video. Maybe tomorrow when we went to the vet, the whole nine yards, you guys. But I'm just going to sit with her, comfort her, let her keep passing them. She's had about, what, five, one, one. She had about seven. So, I mean, Shannon says she only seen five. But, I mean, she still passed them. And I'm not going to lie, she still, I don't know, man. I say maybe about two more in that person. I'm just being honest with you guys. But, um. This is a to be continued video, you guys. Um, so I'll see you guys in a little bit.